Hey guys, listen, this show is scary, but you know what's even scarier? You trying to copy us, so please don't do it. A free buff. Let me see what's going on here, okay? In a blender or something? Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, is that his arm? Do you mind if I take my top off? No, go ahead. Born Star cocktail. Mm. That tastes weird. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey guys, check it out. Want to get back at a friend for something? Send them to us, and we'll scare the heck out of them. Tape it, show it to the world, and then you can laugh in their face. Is this a great concept or what? Kenny's pal Bobby talked him into working the night shift at a local car wash. I want to set up Kenny because he thinks he's so intelligent and witty that I think I could scare him pretty good. I still believe we'll be good friends after the scare is done. Hey, Kenny, be careful. Some people are very protective of their cars. Just trying to test out the new system. Pretty easy job. Just take the cars and drive them back, pull them through, tell them off. Okay. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I help you? What are you looking at? Clean my car, dude. All right. Just hang out here. You just concentrate on driving, dude. All right. What? Watch where you're driving, man. He didn't pay you. What's that? He didn't pay you. I just didn't want to deal with that guy, man. He's already angry. I just hate guys like that, man. All right, I'll give you a towel. What the f is that, man? What? The f trim coming right down there. God damn it! When I came in here, I had trim along the side of my f car. Did you feel it come off? I didn't. Feel Did you? Anything. You didn't see my car falling apart while you were sitting right there. No. What's going on out here? Hey, how are you doing? Problems. These jackasses made me give them my keys and drive it through, and they, as they went through, they tore off all the freaking trim. Look at that, man. Hey, I'm the manager here, and I just uh, want to come out. I want to make sure you're happy. Oh, yeah, big tough guy. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get paid is what I want. We'll take care of it. We'll, yeah, you'll we'll take care of it. We'll fix it for you. Dave, why don't you guys run it through one more time? Oh, so you're going to well, have him we'll drive it through part. again? See if you can tear the other half off, huh? Just, just keep an eye out for me, Kenny. See if you can see the, the, the molding there. OK. All right, thanks, bro. So you're saying the panel was on there then? Before? Yeah, it was on there, and now it's and, freaking and now it's gone. gone. It's okay. my dad's car, dude. Calm down, my friend. Okay. I'm gonna get 1500 bucks or, 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 or okay. we're going down. God, what a jerk, man. Come on, look at your car. Exactly. So you know what I'm saying? It's an old car, okay? It's a beautiful car. You <laughs> dog on my car, man. <laughs> Let me see what's going on here, okay? Tactics. Oh. 
Your friend Bobby set you up. Oh! It's cool, man. You're cool. You're cool. You all right? Yeah. Oh! You all right? How you doing? Oh. You all right? How was that? Look pretty good, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Oh, dude. You all right? I'm speechless. <laughs> you scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> Thanks, Amelia. Yeah. Thanks for the scare. Yeah, sure, man. It's back by popular demand, Fear Antics. The show where we hire an actor and then we turn the prank right around on him. So you got Joe here. He thought his buddy Aaron hooked him up with a dream acting role playing a hillbilly with a UFO on his property. Joe has been known to play a couple of mean practical jokes on me. He has peed in a beer bottle before and I wound up being the one who got to drink it. Thought it was real funny though I didn't so uh, now I get to think th something's real funny and he won't. As you know the joke is on Joe which means he's guaranteed to have a close encounter of the worst kind. What's up, everybody? It's Travis from Fear Antics. Woo! Yeah, I'm here with Joe, and tonight we're gonna scare the hell out of some guy who thinks there's an alien pod in Joe's yard. Ain't that right, Joe? Yeah, that's right, man. What the hell's in here? Ah! It's gonna be going on. Oh, crazy. Because that's how we do it on Fear Antics, ain't it? Everybody, this is Fear Antics, and you can't handle it and stuff. <laughs> That's good. Just remember, you stay on that side so I can get you. And uh, you want to spray him, like try to oh. hit him. All right. Do your best to hit him. And then we'll just tell him he's on fear annex and ha, ha, ha. All right, go up to the front where I met you, and I'll be back here in that window. You're supposed to be an expert, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I run, I run a website about uh, uh, stuff. All right, in my backyard. Nice limp, bro. Holy sh Yeah, it was, um, came right out the sky. Holy sh Down on the ground right here. And today... Wait a minute. Did you cut this thing? I did, and I wanted to see what was inside, but I was scared. Like, if I take it off, maybe it's infectious or contagious or something. Yeah, yeah, it probably, probably is. Like, if you open it, like, I don't... Oh. I don't know, man. I don't... All right, all right, let's, let's, let's try to open it. All right, let's open it then. All right. I... I... All right, dude. You ready? I'm ready. All right, stand, stand back. I'm standing... No, I'm back, man. I'm back. Okay, okay. Like, I'm scared. Right, Go ahead. Got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah! What the... Ah! What the... Ah! Ah! It burns! Ah! Ah! It's burnt! You're an expert! You're supposed to be an expert! Ah! Ah! Oh, son of a... What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, Where are you, people? What the hell are you doing in front of my house? Oh, my leg. Damn, that looks painful, man. We're just filming the... Th I filming? What are you talking about filming? No, it's, filming it's a... Filming No, it's, it's a fake. My leg is killing me. All right, man, just... That looks painful, man. My leg! Is it, uh, is it broke? I'm gonna call 911 and then you can both go to jail. No, look, look. Huh? What the come back here? With you. Uh, hey, come back here, you punk! Hey, come back here, what's you! What's the matter with you? You're on scare tactics! Come on back! Right. Aaron set you up! That's not very nice. <laughs> Were you scared? What'd you run off for? Uh, I figured, like, nobody really knows my name, so maybe I won't get in trouble if I'm not here anymore. Oh, All right, right, dude, yeah. <laughs> Great. I got to deal with alcoholics, people who drove here forever and are now mad at me because they got their leg broken. It's like, I didn't need this. It's a good old time, boy. <laughs> I was like, great, man. Aaron got me in more trouble. But when you're sleeping, dude, what are you going to do? Stephanie was looking for a part-time receptionist job. Unfortunately for Stephanie, her friend Mike was just looking for a way to creep her out. I want to set up Stephanie tonight because uh, I think she's a really cool girl and she seems very gullible and she, it would just be, just be a great time. Hopefully it won't ruin any, any chances with Stephanie for me. <laughs> Luckily for the both of them, the local mad scientist was hiring. His only prerequisite for the job, arms, legs, and a very strong stomach. 
Thanks very much for coming in tonight. What I'm going to have you do is when the subject comes in, take a measurement of their right forearm. This is very important. You'll measure it from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger. Okay. okay. The test I'm doing tonight, I was doing at the lab at the university. However, I lost my grant. The university didn't quite agree with what I was doing and uh, managed to get me barred from the university. I think they were jealous of what I was doing. Uh, okay, uh, somebody's here. Go ahead and get him started. I'm gonna be prepping. Can you the need to get their name and all that stuff? Yes, please, at the top. Thank you. If you want, just, um, right here. Oh, my name up there? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And my phone number? <laughs> all right. Okay, I need to get a measurement up right here okay. to the tip of your finger right. on your right arm. My right arm? Okay. <laughs> 16 and 3 quarters. We took no one for all of them. And okay. then... 16 and, and 3 quarter inches? Mm hmm. Hmm. It's a bit short. Sorry, man. Hey, man. Let's, uh, let's take a look in. Hi. Hi. May I uh, measure your arm, please? All right. You want me to pull this leg up? Okay, that'd be fine. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly 19 inches. Could you write that down, please? 19 inches? Oh, sure, I'm sorry. That is perfect. You have, uh, you know what, actually? Uh, I would like to measure your leg. My please. leg? Yes, okay. thank you. That's 20, that's perfect. Could you mark 22 inches on his right, right leg, leg, please? Thank you. David, you are going to be my leg tonight. Peter, I think you're going to be my arm. Uh, Stephanie, could you come in and help me? We're gonna start with Peter, okay? Come on back here, Peter. Could I have you lay down in the bed, please? Now, Stephanie, if I could have you go grab one of those cups on that tray, bring one of those over, and please, uh, Peter, if I could have you drink this. Uh, as part of the exam, it's gonna be a little bit bitter. Perfect, thank you. Oh, wow. Just relax, you're gonna feel a little groggy. Could I have you help me? If you could go ahead and put that in as well. There's another hook down there. It's not too tight. Peter, this is more for your safety. Okay. And I guess for my safety as well. Can I have you wait out in the lobby? Yes. Thank you very much. How do you feel? Dizzy. <laughs> what time am I gonna get in there? Um, I don't know, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. A blender or something? Stephanie! Stephanie! Come in here, please. I need your help. I need two towels over here, right away. Yeah. Right away, over here, over here. Right away, please, quickly. Two, thank you. Oh, God, damn it. This is perfect, this is perfect. What's going on in here? Oh my God, is that his arm? Don't, don't oh my go God, don't go anywhere. Oh my God, don't go anywhere. Oh. He was my leg. The last piece of my creation! My creation! No, and you just got my leg missing. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to be my leg now. Yes, please. Are you scared? Yes, I am. Well, you shouldn't be. Please just let me out. You're on scare tactics. Michael set you up. Right. Everything is okay. <laughs> you think you're gonna get him back? Oh, I will. He won't know when, but I will. You're a little creepy. <laughs> creepy when you were putting the straps on that guy and just when you're talking about how the university kicked you out. Oh my God, I was like, what would you think was going to happen to you? I was going to be the leg. I still have the tape measure. We can go ahead and... No. <laughs> Just a regular guy who was in between gigs. That's Daniel for you. His pal, JP, got him an attendant job at an exclusive spa frequented by naughty stars like Mary Carey. Dan and I have been friends for a long time. He used to play pranks on me all the, way, all the time back in the day. I just wanted some kind of payback, you know? I had a chance to, so I took it. Things started out pretty good for Daniel. That didn't last long. 
Mary. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, always nice to have you back. <laughs> Mary, this is Daniel. So new. He's a new employee. Hey, Daniel, Mary, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Mary Carey. And you know what? See, I forgot my magazines. You can get them for me. Yeah. Like, go to the store. It's going to be some new ones. I probably no read them all by now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mary, uh, uh, Daniel here will be here to cater for your every need, and uh, if you need anything, just give a holler. Thanks, guys. All right. She ran, she ran for governor, that's right. Yeah. Listen, I've seen a lot of porn, and let me tell you, it sickens me. The way I look at it is the body's a temple. The body's a temple. And yeah, you, know? you shouldn't be doing that with it. To Mary, her body is a life raft. It's like everybody jump on board. So, <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really care for that profession. I'm against it. I think it's wrong. I think it's sinful. But go see if she needs anything, will you? She's kind of high maintenance. Doing good. Need anything? You know, I would love a drink, but I want to get to know you first. Mind if I grab a seat? Oh, OK. I know. I'm like kind of bored today. Usually, there's more people here. Yeah. But do you mind if I take my top off? No, go ahead. Would you want anything though? Did you want me to you know, grab anything for you? Can I get um, a double shot of vodka on the rocks? Okay, double shot of vodka on the rocks. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Porn star cocktail. Oh, hey. Double shot of vodka on the rocks. Vodka? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. That should be enough. Double shot on the rocks. Should be fine. Take that tour. All right. All right. Thanks, Daniel. No problem, man. My lady. Thank you so much. You are welcome. That tastes weird. It's like salty vodka. Hmm. Damn. Hmm. Thirsty? <laughs> <coughs> Can I have a, a different one, but maybe like a different vodka this time? Sure. Thanks. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, she, she would like another one? Just different vodka. Different vodka? Yeah, she said that's that kind of tastes a little salty. Impudence, trumpet. <coughs> uh, can you check on her, please? Yeah. She's probably throwing a tantrum. Very. Oh. Yeah, I got your magazines for you. What the f Hey, man, what the f happened here? I didn't do anything to her, man. I just came over here. I saw her like this. I just got Jerry. I was just... Hey, man, what kind of place you running here, man? What the f is this? I just walked in I just in walked, in walked over here. I just, just walked in. I just walked in. Mary. Mary, OK? What the f This was next to the uh, shaker. He, he made her a drink. Oh, man, no way. Hey, come here, man. Hold on, man. No, come here. Man. What the f is this? And bring a squad car, too, all right? Squad car? F the police, I handle this. Dude, no, I didn't f mix that shit up, dude. I swear to f God, man. I swear I didn't do anything. He told me to he me. didn't like porn. Man, I don't have a problem. Pro I just don't like it, but I don't have a problem with it. You know what? Poison and killing people is not the f solution. I didn't no, it's kill not her. the solution. I didn't kill her. I didn't do anything to her. I'm just doing my job. She a lady asked for a drink. I brought her a drink. You acting like a scary little bitch. Because I am scared. Are you guilty? No, I'm not guilty. Are you scared? Guilty of. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. You shouldn't be. Scare tactics. Your friend set you up, man. No. You know it, pal. <laughs> scare tactics. Scare tactics. I'm already thrown up on. Oh, she scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, they'll never get me. You guys bleep out the cussing, right? Really? You were scaring the shit out of me, man. <laughs> He's good. Isn't he? I was like, man, if I have to throw down, I'll try to throw down, but I don't think anything's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Dude, man, crap. Is there any rat poison in this? No, dude. <laughs> it was fun. I'm gonna remember this for a long time. <laughs> Look at the bright side there, Daniel. You did get to spend the day with a nude lady. All in all, that's a win. That's it for now, gang. And remember, please, don't freak out. Ah! I'm gonna starve. Ah! I didn't kill her. I didn't do anything to her. It's only scare tactics.
secret in Hollywood!